Avenger Styles, DJ No Frills, UERadioLive.com. That thing is crazy. Brand new Mars Co-op, Black Caesar. He just previewed the video. The video's done. You know, you're going to see that on MTV Jams coming up real soon. The single will be released November 24th, so be on the lookout out for that. It'll be on iTunes. Go support. But that yes, record sir. is crazy. Yes, yes it was. I mean, I appreciate the love. We were saying this while we were listening. I haven't heard somebody come up here with something hard like that. Samples, like just boom bat in a while. That thing, that thing is nice, man. Okay, thank you. Now, now, can they expect that type of flavor throughout the whole album? Is that yeah. a, is that an album you put in and you don't stop? You just listen all the way through? I think so. I got. I mean, I'm about to play all some other joints out there, world. So like, I mean, they could be the judge of that, and you could be the judge of that, but like. I think it is. I really put, you know, a lot of time into this album. I didn't like when I when I first started working on it. When I, from from beginning to end, I uh, didn't do nothing else, man. I just went in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't, uh, you know, really do too much other shit. I just worked strictly on my music. I'm talking about from sun up, sun down. Went to sleep, woke up, got right back in the studio. You know what I'm saying? How many tra- How many tracks on the album? Uh, right now we're trying to narrate it down. So far we got like 25. Okay. We're not going to use those 25, nah. so, but, um, I know, I, know, I, know you, I know you brought some more exclusives for us here. Today. I got something more crazy for you. I got a drink called On Fly, produced by my man Al New. You might like this record better than Black Season. Okay, explain <laughs> explain to the people listening around the world who don't know Al, who's Al New. Is that a, just some producer you're working with? Or? Who, Al New? Yeah. Oh, no, well, actually, you know, he's an underground producer from out of uh, El Paso, Texas. You know what I'm saying? He's down to Tally Up Boys. Tally Up Boys is uh, Mars Co-op, which is me, Malik B, my man King Titty out on the West Coast, my man Ross Scola, you know what I'm saying, Zoo. Now let me ask you this, because I know Malik B used to come into some of the clubs I was at in Wild Out back like maybe like <laughs> four years ago. Yeah. And we linked up. I think I have like six different Malik B phone numbers in my phone. <laughs> Where is Malik B right now? Oh, uh, right now he's just chilling, man. The family good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now he's just, you know, doing his thing. He's trying to, uh, right now he's actually trying to do stuff for the Roots new album. The Roots is working on a new album. So he's pretty much trying to focus and trying to get on that. And, you know, trying to stay out of trouble. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because we used to, we, we party back in the day in the club getting in. So okay. Yeah, he, he would roll through with a couple girls. And, and <laughs> That's how he do. <laughs> Shout out to Malik. Malik B, where you at, baby? Yeah. So, so man, all right, uh, the new album, the title again? The Powers and the Tongue. And when can they expect that? Because the single's dropping November 24th, so when can they expect the album? Hopefully, like, around January. We're okay. trying to set everything up right now, so when we hit it, you know what I'm saying? When it hits the streets and everything, you know. It's good to see your face. Now, is it all Mars Co-op? Any features on there? I don't have too many, like, other features. I was trying to get, you know, a few other people on there. Um, I have I have a joint with, you know, this girl named Vanessa. Like, I don't have, like, no big, you know, artists. Right, right, right. I'm, nah, I'm not doing it like that for yeah. the first time around. I could, but it's like, you know, I'm focusing on just showing you, you know, my talent. You know what I'm saying, and you know other people that ha- that has not got a chance to get heard that's around me. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I have a joint with this girl named Vanessa. She's a North Philly native, Spanish chick. You know what I mean. It's called Rank Supreme. She's on actually like three joints on the album. Um, she sings as well as Rom. Uh, who else? Oh yeah. Uh, well, well, let me ask you this. Who would you like to collaborate with? Or some people that you would like to work with in the future? Um, well, we, we, we're also working on a second project, too. We, we, we lined it up, so I'm trying to get Melly Mel on. You know what I'm saying? Classic. Yeah, so like, I like to work with like Melly Mel. Um, I know that's kind of like going way back, but you know, he's a, he's a hell of a fucking writer. Like. And, and, you know, and, and, and give him a give him line for the record. Which one? You were just sitting to me uh, off the air. Oh, I said stupid does how stupid is. How you wrong, don't know who cool Herc is. Without your history, you don't know shit. You just a slave, another industry prick. <laughs> you know, we're going to get into that Mars Co-op freestyle a little bit later. Oh, but yeah. explain to the people how important cool Herc and, and just some of the legendary DJs like Mr. Magic, Red Alert are to you as a hip-hop artist. 
Um, to me, I feel like, you know, a lot of things is misunderstood with this music. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of new artists, they don't know who Cool Herc is. And it's like... Does that bother you? or are you, are you A little you? bit it does. Because it's like, how you in the game and you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who Cool Herc is. It's like, Cool Herc, for, for those that don't know, are you new people? Uh, he basically helped start hip hop. He, he started it from yeah. out of the Bronx in the park. You know what I'm saying? With um, you know, people like uh, Grandmaster Cash, Cold Crush Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mr. Magic and all of them. Um, who are DJ Hollywood? Yep. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just think that when it comes to this this profession, the more knowledge that you have, the more longevity you can you can also gain. You know what I'm saying on your road to success. Now, I mean, you can be successful without without knowing it, but I just think it's important to know it because it's like you got people art fences, like 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 you come from the streets, right? And if you hustle, most likely you know who Tony Montana is. He's not even a real person, right? Per se, but you know Scarface. You know what I'm saying? You know King of New York. You know uh, uh, who else? Uh, Al Capone. It's like it's like how you gonna be in the streets? You don't know these names. You don't know the history of how this thing even started. So I think like for me, like important. just being in any business, you wanna be as knowledgeable as possible. Exactly. Like if I get around somebody like Red Alert and I don't know what I'm talking about, that's not a good look. No, it's true. And, and, and for me, it's like I always tell people, meeting a Jay Z, yeah, that would be cool or something like that. But honestly. Some of the best times that I've had were meeting Red Alert. That meant a lot to me. Molly Mall, you know, those guys like that. Like, that's more important to me, meeting the legends that started some of this. You know, Yo, that's crazy you say that, because uh, when I met Cool Herc in the tunnel, uh, that was a night. You gotta tell us about that. I used to be in New York. And um, I said uh, I said to him, I said, Joe, man, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And like, by that time, I had already met a lot of people in the industry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Artists that was out and all that, whatever. When I met Cool Herc and Busy B, mm. I told them s -s -s that if it wasn't for them, I would not be here right now getting publishing yeah. checks. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Busy B looked at me like I was crazy. But Cool Herc was just like, you know, word. Like he was, you know, really, uh, you know what I'm saying, respecting the fact that I knew who he was. And I was like, yo, check me out. I'm about to go on stage right now. You know what I mean? 